Whenever you feel your mind start to wander when you're in a group, but you're not really there, that's your cue to take a second to step away and deal with what's going on. Mindfulness and grounding techniques help you engage with your body and your mind in a different way by helping bring you back to the present moment so that you can re-engage with the group or the activity at hand. I'll be using an activity called a doodle jar to help you capture the things that are around you in the present moment so that you can do just that, become more present. What you'll need are a printed PDF. There's a free one down below in the description link. You can also draw your own doodle jar. You'll need a simple pen or pencil to draw, or you can also choose to add in your favorite coloring implements to add some color to your picture. To get started, get all of your supplies ready and then breathe with me. Close your eyes and put your hands on your belly and breathe in and out your mouth. Close your eyes, breathe in, out. Now open your eyes. The first sense is sight. What do you see around you? Sitting here in my home office, I see the, the view out my window. I see the sunlight, and the, the complex behind us, the trucks and all kinds of stuff going on, activity. I see a plant on my windowsill. I see a light I'm using to film. I see my computer. Notice the things around you. What are the main things? That's exactly what you're gonna draw and capture in your doodle jar. Now don't focus on making it perfect. Just use a symbol to show, just a plant in a pot. Use a symbol to show a light, maybe a picture of a light bulb, just a doodle. It doesn't have to mean anything to anybody else but you. Capture what's around you using your eyes. What else do you see? Challenge yourself to look for at least five things. If you can't think of a symbol to, to represent what you see, you can just write words instead. You're getting good at this. Now close your eyes again. And notice what do you hear around you? Right away I hear the ticking of my office clock. I hear the silence of my son taking a nap right now. I hear some cars zooming out the window. Now think, okay, how can I capture this in symbols? How can I show silence? Maybe it might be a snowflake or a feather, something soft. If you can't think of a symbol, you can just write words instead. Close your eyes again. What do you feel right now? And this is not emotional, this is a body awareness. What do you feel in contact with your skin? I feel a surf, soft carpet on my feet, under my toes. I feel the warmth of my knitted sweater. I notice that my, my one of my hands is curled into a ball and I feel the nails against my palm. I feel a bobby pin in my head. What do you feel? Take a second and capture that in your doodle jar. Remember, if you can't figure out a way to symbolize it using images, you can always use a word.
close your eyes. Next, we're going to engage with smell. Take a deep breath. Notice if you smell anything. If there's nothing recognizable at first, take another deep breath. I realize I can smell the chapstick I just put on my lips. Feel the mustiness of my sweater in my nose because <laughs> I just took it out of storage. Maybe there's a candle near you, you catch a, a little whiff of. What do you smell? This one's harder. Remember, if you can't think of a symbol, you can always write it in words. Our last sense is taste. Close your eyes again. Take a deep breath. Notice what do you taste. This one, we're not gonna have many tastes. I can taste my lunch. Maybe just brush your teeth. You can taste the toothpaste combined with whatever you ate beforehand. Maybe you can taste the coffee lingering on your tongue. Sometimes there's a cut in my mouth and I can taste a little bit of that acidity of the blood you taste. Take some time to finish out your jar if you'd like. Or if you're just done, what you can do is hang it somewhere that you can see often to remind you to go back to the present moment. Or if it frees you, you can actually throw it just in the trash. Print out a couple of doodle jars so that you can practice this whenever you need it. You have them handy. Taking time for yourself isn't selfish, it's wise. When you feel your mind start to wander, step away and practice mindfulness through a doodle jar activity. Like this video and subscribe to my channel for more creative resources like this one.